Welcome to today's family adventure vlog where we visit Newry, Maine. Our first stop on this trip is Screw Auger Falls, which is part of Grafton Notch State Park. Also within Grafton Notch State Park, we attempted to visit Mother Walker Falls and Moose Cave. Mother Walker Falls did not prove to be accessible during these winter months, and we were able to access Moose Cave, but we decided it was going to be a little bit too much for our family on this day. After we leave Grafton Notch State Park, we will visit the Sunday River Bridge, which is a covered bridge built in 1872. And we will conclude today's family adventure vlog by visiting the Lower Sunday River Schoolhouse that was built in 1895. So be sure to hang around so that you can see all of those places within this vlog. Also at the very end of the vlog, I will have a series of still images for you that capture some of the finer details of the bridge, the schoolhouse, and also Scarauger Falls. We are arriving here at Screw Auger Falls off of Route 26. It is still winter in Maine and we're headed up and over the snowbank with, uh, we got boots but no ski pants so luckily it's pretty firm so far and I can see the footprints of my whole family members so hopefully I'm not going to end up with oh gosh, boots full of snow but we'll see. I also have my GoPro attached. Am I gonna be able to walk there like the children did? Probably not. So, oh, definitely not. I'm sinking. So I'm gonna go back over here where other people sank before me. Brandon said, do you wanna bring the snowshoes? And I was like, no, I don't think we need the snowshoes. I think we should have brought the snowshoes. But anyway, here we are. I think my family is over there. So far, we have determined that the decision to not bring snowshoes was a bad one. The children are doing just fine. Not only do they have their ski pants, but they're also light enough to not sink into the snow. But for larger individuals, such as Brandon and myself, we are steadily sinking into the snow. And now that we are here and mobility is a bit of a challenge, we're trying to decide which direction we're going so that once we choose a direction, we remain committed and get to the falls, which is the ultimate goal. To help give you a visual of just how much snow that there is around here right now, that is a little like grill that people can use during the summer months. And it is definitely down and in the ground and that's at like not quite waist level for me, but... I'm not doing it! I'm not doing it! I'm not oh doing it! These guys are just happy to be out of the car. So anyway, this is not quite waist level on me, but close. So there's a whole lot of it that's just buried in snow. We saw some other humans around here. So Brandon just walked over to ask them which direction we need to go in. It looks like he's gonna come back with some information for us now. I don't know if you can see it, but it is snowing. We also weren't expecting that here. Oh gosh, your eyes being a monkey over there per usual. You've seen vlogs on our family adventures and he is a climber. So traveling all the way over here to this picnic table where I emptied my boots was not necessary because we actually need to go that way. The sun's popping out a little bit more. That's really nice. The kids had a nice time just gradually walking along. I'm gonna come along as well and I'm gonna try to step in the, the sunken foot marks that Brandon has already created so that I can avoid filling my boots with snow again. But we'll see. This is part of adventuring in the winter in Maine. So fun. Wow, just when you think you can't sink any further. I'm quite literally just trying to step exactly where Brandon stepped so that I don't make any new indents in the snow. Okay, I guess he went that way now. Second time he just emptied the boots of snow gonna be some beautiful GoPro footage later. Does the sinking in the snow situation get any better? There's more footprints.
So Screw Auger Falls is part of Grafton Notch State Park? I think it's just a waterfall. That's part of Grafton Notch State, State Park. Park? Here's a little view of the falls in the summertime. We'll have to come back in the summer, but we're going to get the winter views for today. We are here and we are going to Screw Auger Falls. We are not going to travel too much further because we didn't wear snowshoes and such, but lots of different activities can be done here. They offer a variety of things, so that's good for you to know if you decide to visit. Brandon was just asking me how it's going, and I said this will be a trip to remember because I've done so much sinking and my feet are wet and whatnot, and so he was saying, the last adventure I went on with just Eli filled my boots with ocean water, I think that vlog will already be up by the time this one goes up. Eli and I went to Ferry Beach State Park and I did indeed completely fill my boots with ocean water. And now I'm just filling them with snow, but... So pretty much everyone is prepared <laughs> except for Brittany. <laughs> so these are not the boots I filled with ocean water. Those are my bean boots. These boots I wear when I know there's going to be snow, but I didn't bank on there being this much snow here. I should have thought that through because I knew we were going north, but here we are, c'est la vie, gonna make the best of it. I'll sure warm up my toes when we're back in the car. What? It's really not much different than at home. There's not this much snow on the ground at home. When do you go outside at home? I go outside often at home. Like, besides to your car? <laughs> I don't have to go outside to get to my car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Being in your car does not count as being outside. I have observed from the windows the amount of snow at home. Oh gosh, all right, let's do this. Thank you for being loving. Here we go. Oh, Brandon did some sinking, but he has some cool little like cinchy things at the top of his boots. Yeah, like I said, everyone's prepared but you. You didn't bring ski pants, so I was like, oh, I'm not gonna need ski pants if Brandon's not bringing ski pants. Oh man. Oh, yep. Nice. Nice um, little plop of snow oh, that went in the boot. <laughs> you spoke too soon. I mean, we're like getting to the bridge and stuff. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Another example of just how much snow is around here. We can't even see this whole sign, but geology of the falls really envious of these snowshoer footprints here. Okay. On the bridge? Fantastic. For 10 steps, it'll be well packed. A great bench for sitting in the summer months. Here's the bridge that is well packed down, as Brandon was saying. This looks like the terrain would be very easy to maneuver in the summer months, I will say that. And they do have um, some handicap accessible signs, so I think that it's even accessible for uh, a variety of modes of ability. Brandon is just kind of gloating over there because he made it to the lookout where you would watch the falls, and he said, they're just covered in snow. But it sounds cool. So I guess we're not gonna get to see much. Well, here's what we can see. Some really cool rock formations. We can see some running water. Can you go down there? No. What about on top of that rock? No. What about over and there? then we can tell that the falls are here because we have another little glimpse of water in there. But there is a lot of snow on top of the falls right now. I will say that during the winter months, this fence doesn't seem very supportive because 
with the snow right up against it like that, it would be very easy for tiny people to slip and go right under that bar. So if you are visiting in the winter months with children, just be extra careful to keep everyone safe. Even though we can't see all Colin. of the water Colin. as it is rushing along, this is still beautiful. Oh, Colin. It is still beautiful. It'll be nice to come back in the summer and then compare the views from the visits. Good job, buddy. Your calls. I just walked out there a little ways, but I didn't want to go any further than the previous person's footprints because I just don't know how much of that is snow. But tried to get a good view in there, kind of worked. Not entirely, but I want to be safe, so seeing what we can see. The shapes of the stones are so neat. And these are some determined seeds when they rooted themselves there and began to grow into little trees. Can you see the little pine cones all clustered on the top of that tree? We've discovered a much faster way to get back to the car instead of having to walk through so much snow. It's going to require a little bit of road walking because our car go is first. way up there. But it's going to produce less snow in my shoes, so we're going to do it. Stay close to this back to the car we go. We're on the We're walking along too. the side of the road and just noticing that this tree has this on it. slit all the way up it, but it's still alive. Nature is wild. trying to work smarter, not harder. So we sent Brandon out to go check and see if the caves are even something we can access right now. We've arrived at Moose Cave Loop. And we also wanted to stop at Mother Walker, Mother Walker Falls? I think that's what it's called today, but could not because really it's not accessible in the winter. So based on that, we decided we would not get the kids out till we knew if this was a realistic option or not.
What did so, you discover? It's like a, they said it's like a half hour hike. It's a pretty packed down trail, but it's like a, you could go either direction and it's like, seems like it's about straight ahead. But that's just the viewing area, but then you gotta actually cross the river to see the cave. There's a go. little map too, thing. No, he go. isn't gonna wanna do that. Go. No, he's not. Ugh. At this rest stop, <laughs> these guys who have a dog sled with them are here. I guess they got a flat tire, and so they're trying to take care of that, but they have actual dogs with them, which is pretty neat. There they go, with their dog sled and their dogs in the back. <laughs> After making the decision that today wasn't going to be the best day for our family to visit Moose Cave and that we plan to come back in the summer to pursue this, we took a little bit of a trip further north up Route 26 and we observed that we went from this wintry mixture to a much sunnier environment all within the same stretch of road. We continued on up Route 26 for a little longer. We ended up parking for a few minutes where a lot of snowmobilers had parked and evidently gone out for the day. And we just observed this beautiful scene with the mountains and the wind gently blowing and the clouds moving by. And it just was a serene little location to hang out for a minute while everybody just rested after being physically active. After soaking in this beautiful environment for a little while, we headed back the way we had come on Route 26, and that is when we discovered the covered bridge and also the little schoolhouse and took a few moments to stop at each. I did know that the bridge was there, but it had been quite some time since I had visited. I was a young child the last time I was there, so it did catch me off guard a little that it was in this area. I just wasn't thinking about it, and it was a great little thing to add into this trip, which was not part of our original plan, and the schoolhouse was not part of our original plan either, but that just happened to be on our route as we drove home, and we seized the opportunity and stopped and had a little look. As we were coming into Newry, I kept seeing these signs about a covered bridge. Well, on the you're now entering Newry sign, it had a covered bridge. And so I thought there's got to be a covered bridge in Newry. And indeed there is. It's beautiful. a little covered bridge on the side of this road.
falls, to the covered bridge, to this adorable little schoolhouse, we had a wonderful family adventure day today. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with us and seeing some of these attractions here in Newry, Maine. If you are ever able to visit any of these locations, of course, I recommend that you do. If you've visited before, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What did you think about these places? Again, thank you so much for joining us today. I can't wait to see you in the next one.